let us understand what is the strategy number 11 and your first question was what why it is called as a strategy number 10 as a net requirement calculation planning and why strategy 11 is a gross requirement plan okay so in this net requirement calculation what happened here you can see now whenever i'm saying i am having now 12500 quantities as a stock okay everybody my stock is 12500 now Suppose I'm going to change this calculation. I'm going to change my demand. Okay. Suppose I'll go to MD61. Okay, let me go to MD61 from here only. Okay. Now I will say I don't require in this month, my demand is 12,000 is gone. Okay. Next month or this month, instead of 12,000, I require 15,000. As you know. Okay. As in 15,000. I already 15,000 quantity. And next month also I require 15,000 quantity. And next to that month also I am required 13,000. And next month I am required 14,000. Okay. So this is my upcoming demand like this. Now once my demand is changed, when I refresh it, see, I have done the refreshment. Now you can see what system is saying. Currently you are having 12,500 quantity. Okay. You are having 12,500 quantity in the stock. But you are having safety stock requirement is 500. So actually you are having only 12,000 stock with you. Okay. Clear? Calculation of organic moment. Then what system is saying? Oh, but you are having in this month 15,000 demand, LSF, plan independent requirement, PIR. You are assuming that you are going to manage 15,000 component. No worries. You already have 12,000 and you are planning for 15,000. You just have to manage 3,000 pieces and you are done. You are lagging only 3,000 3, pieces. So what is happening? Your available stock is getting considered into your LSF and further calculations. Okay. Are we clear? You are considering your available stock. That so is sir, in that case, in that case, uh, the planned order will be created only for 3,000 or? No, no, no. See, your PIR, now once I take MRP run, okay, once I take MRP run, system will create a PIR of only 3,000 pounds. Plan order. See, plan order. Yeah, will, that's what I'm asking, yeah. Uh, plan order will be created for 3,000. LSF is always 15,000, which is your demand. It should be shown to you, right? Plan order, which yeah. is for MRP run, it will create only 3,000 quantity. Okay. Okay, rest of the team, are you getting my point? Akshay, Bani, uh, sorry, Sagar, Suraj, Aditya. Yes, sir. Because system is considering you are already have this much quantity, boss. You require this much, you are lagging only 3000 quantity. Very simple arithmetic calculation, plus or minus. So, this is called as your stock net requirement calculation in which you are going to consider your warehouse stock. So, how your production order is created? Your PIR minus your receipts. What is receipt? Just imagine you are going to receive some production order, plan order, those are your receipts. Okay, just ignore that. Just assume PIR minus warehouse is equal to your net requirement calculation. Okay. And later on, next strategy is strategy 11, that is gross requirement planning. What is gross requirement planning? Gross requirements what? You will not consider your warehouse stock. Your warehouse stock will not consider. You will directly have strategy 11, means that whatever stock you are having, that is not considered into the system. Okay. That is one of the biggest difference here. Warehouse stock is considered in strategy 10. Warehouse stock is totally ignored in strategy 11. Okay. So let us understand. So let me go for another material. Okay. So slash zero two. Okay. So this is my material B44, B144, right? So I'm going for MRP3 view. I will make strategy 11 over here. Consumption mode will be 2, forward consumption 9. And what is consumption? We are going to understand at this end of this slide. Okay. Here I have to update mix MRP2. Now, very much important thing in your interview question. What is the difference between strategy 10 and 11? It is asked to you. First is strategy 10 will consider stock, strategy 11 will not consider stock. And mix MRP indicator 2 is updated here in Metal Master. This mix MRP indicator 2 means that do not consider. This is gross requirement planning, so do not consider stock. This is a simple meaning of this. Okay, now I will simply save for laptop B414. Now, what I will do, 
have to be one four four material. I will go for MD sixty one. D sixty one. Sorry, I will go for slash and MD zero four first. Okay, for this material. Now, what is the scenario? We are having safety stock five hundred. Stock is zero. Everything is clear. Okay, for laptop B forty four. Now I will upload some demand for MD sixty one. Okay, how to upload demand? MD sixty one is a cheaper by which we can upload a demand. Okay, for this material I will say I required one thousand pieces. Then I required two thousand pieces. Then I will okay. Let me go with this eleven thousand. The okay, next month I required twelve thousand. And next month I will require twelve thousand five hundred. Then thirteen thousand. Okay, so this is demand for. I uploaded demand. So if you refresh your MD zero four, you can see your LSF is showing like this. Now there is one line gross requirement planning. Okay, so this is my demand. Now what I will do? I will artificially or forcefully create a stock for here. Okay. I will create stock forcefully without running production order. I will try to show you. Okay. If I go to Migo, okay, other goods receipt, okay, other, and I will go for material. This is my material quantity. I will say ten thousand. Okay. Where plant one thousand storage location triple zero one. I am creating a forcefully stock. Okay, post. Now, see the calculation. System is saying what? You are lagging with eleven thousand. You are lagging with eleven plus twelve, twenty thousand lagging. Twelve, twenty thousand plus twelve thousand five hundred, thirty-five thousand, and thirty-five thousand five hundred plus thirteen thousand is forty-eight thousand five hundred. So this is your lagging. Now, if I add stock over here for ten thousand, so here my lagging should be only one thousand. Yes or no? I will refresh it now. See, my stock is ten thousand. Okay, guys, ten thousand stock. Safety stock minus here. So how much stock I am having? I am having nine thousand five hundred stock with me. Clear? But system is saying your requirement is eleven thousand. Your available stock is nine thousand five hundred, and still system is saying you are lagging with eleven thousand. What is this? It's because of eleven uh, strategies. Yes. It's not strategy, considering strategy eleven does not consider your available stock. What your stack is stock is available with you nine thousand five hundred. System is simply ignoring it. See, it's something like that. Uh, you are in house. There are two kids. One is the younger one, and another is the elder one. Elder will be little bit uh, good with behavior. Like strategy ten, it will say that I am having two chocolates already with me. Don't give me extra chocolate, okay? Or you are giving me third chocolate. You will say I will have total three chocolate. But the naughty boy will say, "No, I don't have any chocolate. Give me more." He will not show his available stock. He will never share his available stock. He will never consider his available stock. Okay, something like that. So here we have to understand strategy eleven does not consider your available stock. What does it mean? This calculation is changed. But if you go to your this slide here, you are simply saying, "See, twelve thousand five hundred against this twelve thousand five hundred, we are having." Remaining stock is twelve hundred, twelve thousand. Now you are having requirement fifteen thousand. System is okay. Fifteen thousand is requirement, but you are having twelve thousand already with you. So you are lagging only with three thousand. Considering your available stock, there is no line. There is no line. Here is line. So strategy eleven, where we are using means in which industry it is used. Perfect. Good question, Nagar. Okay. So there are some industry where. They don't have to consider available stock. They have to keep producing, manufacturing product, irrespective of there is an order or not. First, automobile industry, where like this two wheeler and all, whatever we are saying, but again and again, make to stock. What happened? See, they have to keep their production line running. If you have seen, I don't know you have seen or not. Okay, so I will try to show you over here. Okay. Bajaj, we learn. See, can you see? These are the some images. Okay, now this is production line. 
this production lies from here to there. There are 25 to 30 different different stations. Okay, now here Discord is manufactured. Can you imagine this station number is one and this station number might be 23 or 24. And here again, there are some steps like this. Here like this, this chassis line is going down. And from here production, the vehicle is ready to test. Okay, so what happened? They have to keep this running. This plant, they have to keep running. Whether there is a demand or not. Okay. Whether there is a staff or not, these people should not sit idle. They keep on producing the product. Companies capable to handle finished good inventory. They have to ensure that wherever they are having dealers and warehouse, those warehouses are always filled up. Okay? Because they know that there is a sudden change in the demand. Okay? Diwali or any uh, Eid or Christmas or any occasion. Okay? People will try to buy it. Okay? If there is a good monsoon, People will have good amount of flow in India of money, and then people will go for luxurious thing like bike or car something. Okay, it may go like that. So there is a sudden changes into the demand. So they don't want to lose the customer because of any uh, reason, and that is the reason they keep on manufacturing the product and keep it available continuously. Okay, so most of the time, whenever we are having a repetitive manufacturing scenario, in that case, this kind of things will be happening. Or I will show you. Okay, cement manufacturing. So these are the plant, okay, where they are manufacturing cement. Now they don't care where this one demand is there or not. They will keep bringing the material, keep producing the material and keep stocking the material, though there is no demand. Okay, demand okay. there or not, they will run always with their full fledged capacity. Because why? They know that today demand is not there, but day after tomorrow, huge sudden demand is going to come. Suppose tomorrow India got a big infrastructure project sanction and they know that we are the supplier to this national highway uh, uh, PJ Shirke, suppose the builder and they are in discussion for some contract for, with the government. Soon they are going to get it. Once they get the uh, finalization, there will be a huge demand of sub cement and we cannot fulfill that. So let us keep on doing. This plant cannot be shut down. Okay. This plant cannot be keep shut down. They have to keep processing the plant and for this processing, they have to keep the on and they don't have to worry what is the demand. So this is a repeated manufacturing example along with the make to stock strategy 11, where they will not stop. They will keep the inventory available with them and they will keep pushing the inventory from whenever and from their uh, warehouse. Okay. So strategy 11 talks about gross requirement planning, which will not consider your warehouse stock. It will keep on manufacturing the product irrespective of your stock. Okay, but ultimately to create the inventory, make two stock scenario. Okay, everybody clear? Yes. Any question? Yes. Vani, Akshay, Aditya, Suraj? No. Father, no. Okay, so this is your make two stock scenario, make two uh, stock strategy number 11. Because of this, your strategy is going to manufacture extra. Like your salary, see your net net salary and gross salary. Gross salary is always high, right? It will not consider any reduction. Reduction like your PR or your uh, tax. They, that, that, those things are not bothered in that. They say gross salary, CTC is like this. But your enhanced salary is your net requirement, net salary, which is always having reduction, PR, tax, and blah, blah, blah things. And then you will have very less amount of salary in your hand. That is called as a net salary. So... Again, you will understand net requirement calculation or net uh, uh, strategy plan.